Assalamu alaikum. Ahlan wa sahlan bikum mujaddadan. Today, it will be our second class in our course, Learn Arabic Language for the Moment. Today's class will be about the Arabic alphabets and how to form words using them. We're going to have some rules, general rules, and some exceptional rules. Please stay focused to learn how to form words. Let's go to our class and learn this. Hello everyone, welcome to your second lecture. Today's lecture will be something really interesting about the alphabets and the, and the Arabic language and how to form the words. The learning agenda for today will be really some symbol. Arabic alphabets and their sounds, how they sound and how we are writing them, what is the difference between their names and their sounds, the letters, different positions in writing, how we connect them and link them to the surrounding words, and then we will have a small practice just to make sure everything is well known and well understood. First, let's start with the Arabic alphabets. We will take the name Ahmed for illustration purposes. Just to understand, well, I don't want to have too many different names in doing these examples, so we would know what are the effects on the same name. Arabic, na Arabic, writings, Arabic writing is from right to left. As you see, Ahmed in English appeared from left to right, while in Arabic from right to left. Exactly how did it appear in the presentation? We start with Alif, Ha, Mim, and Da. The second fact we need to know that Arabic letters are connected to each other and look really different when we are forming the word using them. The name Ahmed, without being connected, looks like Alif, Ha, Mim, Dal. Looks like this. When we connect it, looks like it will look like this one. Alif is the same, Ahmed is the same. But why the Alif is not connected to the Ha? This we are going to learn it in two or couples of slides, in couples of the coming slides. The third thing we need to understand is the, the, the critical marks. They make a lot of differences in meaning of the word, in meaning of the words, and in their sounds. Like for example, if you are using the Fatha here, which is the small line above the meme, when you're using it and putting it over the meme, it will, we will pronounce Ahmed by saying Ahmed with A. However, when the line comes after it, when it's Kasra, then we will pronounce Ahmed to be Ahmed rather than Ahmed. So these diacritical marks, we will have a full lecture about them. We will understand exactly what they are doing and why we are choosing this one rather than this one. Now let's move to the next slide. Here we will have the, Arf the Arabic alphabets presented to you set by set just to make sure every everything is understood for the first set then before we we are shifting to the next one three things we need to understand here the letter how we write it the letter what is the name of it and then how we pronounce that letter the letter as you can see is alif this is the name of the letter we are using the same letter to write its name like in alif we are using the alif in red one as you can see it and the Hamza, as you can see as well, we, we express it in English with the apostrophe. So whenever you see this apostrophe, it's the Hamza. So Aleph is the letter. Aleph, the next one, is the name. And Aleph in English, this is how we pronounce the, the name. But how we, we say the, the letter itself when it's coming in the word, it will be A. Ba, exactly the same. We are using this, the, the same letter to... to to shape, to form the word, the name of the letter, which is Ba, and the apostrophe is for Hamza. So Alif, A, Ba, B, and Ta, exactly, we are using the same Ta, the first letter is the same letter, and then A is to shape the name. So as you can see here, Alif expressed by, with, from the English alphabets with the letter A, Ba, with the letter B, Ta with the letter T. Tha here, there's something really strange here. We need two letters, two letters from the English alphabets to shape this letter. 
which is T and H, it's like the, lit the, the word Thursday in English. Thursday. So th here is like the word Thursday in English. This letter is th, th but the name is th. And the Hamza, as you can see here in my sound, uh, this is the Hamza, this is the apostrophe. Whenever you see it, you know that in, in that word, there is Hamza. Jim, the, the same way that I'm writing it in English is the same way you pronounce the name of that uh, letter, Jim. However, we pronounce it, the letter, when it's coming into a word, with the, this, with, by this sound, J, J. Ha is the same. However, Ha, H here, when we are saying H to express the letter Ha, this is not 100% right because Ha, there is no other letter in the English alphabet which, match which matches exactly that letter. So Ha is not Ha. If you read, if you read it in English, you will say Ha, not Ha, which is going to be a big difference between the letter in Arabic and the letter in English. Kha again here, we are using two letters, as you can see here, K and H, to present the letter Kha. Kha is the name, Kh is the way how to pronounce the letter, and if you want to know how we write it, we write it exactly the same way I, I'm writing it. We are using two letters from the English alphabet just to present that letter in English, in Arabic. Dal, D is, stands exactly the same in a perfect, in a perfect example to present, or sorry, it's the perfect uh, presenter for the letter dal in Arabic. D, dal, they present each, each, each other. So we say dal, dal. <coughs> dal, again we are using two letters here to, to express the letter dal. As you can see here, th I'm using it here and th I'm using it in the letter tha. But here it's like these and those and the. As you pronounce it, the, the in English, you pronounce it in the, in the word the, or these, or those. However, in the, it's Thursday. Ra, the letter Ra, in Arabic, is presented in English by the letter R. And the apostrophe here, just to present the Hamza. So, R stands for the Ra. Zai, again, Zai. This letter equivalent is equivalent to the letter Z in English. So, as you can see here, even the, if you are uh, comparing the Arabic alphabet's arrangement with the English one, it's not going to be something uh, help, help, It's not going to be helpful here, because um, everything has its own way in presenting the letter. All every language has its own different way. Seen as they presented themselves. However, seen this one is s. You can use it. But if you are using seen in such way, so now for the letter seen, seen, if you look how I'm writing it using the English alphabets, the English letters, seen is exactly the same way how to pronounce the name of the letter. However, seen, when it comes into a word, you pronounce it as sa, sa. And here, as, as we just uh, mentioned in the previous uh, slide, the diacritical marks is what makes um, the sound matches what you are trying to say, or what, how, however it comes into the word. Sheen here, we are using two letters from the English alphabet to, to present the letter Sheen, which is S and H. It looks like the word Sheraton. You know, when you are saying Sheraton in English, it's exactly the same. So, SH in Sheen, we are using two letters. KH in Kha, we're using two letters. TH in Thal, we're using two letters. And TH in Tha, we're using two letters. Sad, I'm using S here. As you can see here, S in Sad <coughs> is different than S in Sin. S in Sad is the only close, or it's the closer letter to express the letter Sad in Arabic. However, it doesn't have the perfect matching, like in seen. It's sad, sa, sa. We we pronounce it when it comes into a word. We pronounce it like this, sad. Dad, why I'm making circle here in dad? It's really something really important. You need to understand that the Arabic language is really unique. 
this letter is really unique in, our, in the Arabic language and you never found it in any other languages. That's why anyone who is trying to pronounce the letter Dad, who is not Arabic, an Arab, he would say Dad, Dad. That's why it, we are using the same letter, the D, to express the letter Dad. However, it's not perfectly correct. But this is the closer letter to help us understand how we pronounce the letter Dad. Ta. Ta, I'm using T-A here. And in Ta, I'm using T-A. But it's really different. Because in Ta, it's something coming from the middle of the throat. However, in Ta, the only thing involved from your... Uh, uh, the only thing involved here is only the tongue. The tip of the tongue. Ta. Va. Again, it's coming... It's coming from the throat, and then it it hits the the teeth, the back of the teeth, and then it's coming out to to be heard. And I'm using th again, so th here in da, and th here in thal, and th again in tha. So what's the different? In tha, it's tha like Thursday. In thal, it's like the in these, in the word these. In tha, in uh, the tha in da. There is no matching here in English. That's why it's really different to, to try to compare the Arabic language with the English language. Each language stands alone. You cannot have this comparison all over when you are trying to learn the Arabic language. Ain. <coughs> Ain. Ain is a very important letter. Why? Because uh, whenever, however I'm writing it, it's exactly the same way it's written. It's exactly the same way we pronounce the name of the Ain. However... Ain when it's coming in the middle of the word, it has a special case. We will express, we explain it inshallah uh, in the next slide. Ain, as you can see here, between Ain and Ain, it's the same. A I N, A I N, Ain and Ain. However, we use G H to express the letter Ain. In Arabic, we use G H from the English language. Fa F express the letter Fa in Arabic, and the apostrophe to express the Hamza again, as we just. Um, clearly mentioned in the previous uh, sets of uh, the letters. Qaf, here there's something really important to understand, that some people, because of the accent, as we expressed in the, in the previous uh, lecture about the Arabs and how, we are, how they are having different accents, Qaf here, uh, some people they say Qaf, like the name Tariq, they write Q at the end of the name, and some people they write Tariq, K at the end of the name. This all is because of these accents differences between one language and another. Uh, sorry, one accent and another. It's, they are all speaking Arabic language. However, the accents is making these difference. So, Qaf, which is Q to present it. We use Q to present it. And Kaf, we use K to present it. However, for the letter Lam, Il express exactly the same. Express the letter Lam from the Arabic uh, language. We use L from the English language to express it. And it, it's having the perfect matching. So L-M-N. l m n b You know, in English we say L-M-N. And those three letters are coming uh, after each other, even in the English language, because those letters, they don't have any differences between English and Arabic. Lam is L, Mim is M, and Nun is N. So those three letters are having the same matching, we don't have anything right, like really hard to understand in those three letters, especially because they are expressing themselves. Whenever they come in the, into a word, they would be pronounced the same way we are pronouncing them in the English language. Ha, we just write it as a small circle, as you can see. However, when it comes in the beginning of the word, we write it this way. That's why when we use the same letter to write the name of the letter, which is ha, we use this a little bit of... Uh, movement as I, I wrote it up there in, in yellow and we use HA again <coughs> if you can remember we use HA here and HA in HA in HA it's different however here HA it's expressing the exact way how to pronounce the letter HA wow is W there is nothing uh, really important or something really needs to understand beyond that W presents wow and Y presents the letter YA so as we can see ALIF BA تاء ثاء جيم حاء خاء دال ذال راء زاي سين شين صاد ضاد 
ط ظ عين غين ثاء قاف كاف لام ميم نون هاء واو أند يا لتر تاء أند ثاء ذال أند طاء ظ أند حاء أند ذن ذا لتر هاء All of these uh, letters to express them in such way we are using two different letters from the English alphabets طاء تاء ثاء أند ذال and then we, uh, like you can see here, in even in the letter dal, we use in the letter dal we use d, and in the letter dad we use the letter d. Most of bo both of them, we are using the letter d. Still, d is not, it's not expressing the exact sound of them. Now let's see the letters that need two letter letters from the English alphabets to express them. Rain, g h, sheen, s h. خاء كا اتش هاء اتش اي هاء بيكوز يو كان نوت جست سي اتش يو كان سي ات اف يو وونت تو برونس ذا هاء الون لايك وذاوت سينج وات از ذا نيم اوف ذات ليتر اف يو وونت تو جست سي ات اف اتس كامينج انسايد ذا ان 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 وذين ا وورد يو جست سي هاء هاء ويتش از ذا اتش ذال تي اتش طاء تي اي and ثاء th again as we have explained before ثاء is like Thursday and ذال is like these the those th th and then ظاء this is something really different it's it's closer to be like the letter ذال but still because it's coming from the tip of the tongue both of these two letters yet we use th to express the ذال and we use th to express the ظاء this this one was with a little pressure and dal is softer than that one ha again h a we have to understand that there are there, there are too many differences we have to focus we have to just uh, think about it and why we are using such words such letters to express these uh, such letters from the english alphabets to express these arabic letters now let's see the positions first we will have some tips and some facts and then later we will start with these letters now each letter has three types of positions in Arabic language whether to be in the beginning of the word in the middle of the word and at the end of the word all of them are to be connected with the surrounding letters however for those following letters there are only two types of positions only these are special case which is alif dal dal ra zay and waw alif we just explained the alif in the previous uh, slide and dal and then again dal and then ra I just I don't want to keep repeating these things about the the apostrophe and about the th the two letters. I'm just focusing in something else here, which is the special case about the connection or the linkage. So as you can see here for alif, if it's coming in the be beginning of the word like the the word Ahmed we have just seen, Ahmed alif is not connecting connected to the next letter which is ha alif. It's coming alif, while it's coming in the middle. It just goes up like this, and that's it. We stop. We cannot connect it like this. I'm just, just to, to for for the purpose of uh, illustration. I'm just writing it in a wrong way, just to show you that this is wrong way to write these letters. Alif, I cannot connect it. Alif, I cannot connect alif like this. For the letter dal, starting, if it's coming, if it if it's coming at the beginning of the word, we write it dal. If it's coming at the end of the word, I'm just using this little line before it just to let you know how we connect in them. Now, if I write it like this, this is wrong again. We cannot write it in such way. Dal is different. As we just said, it's related to the special case of connection or linkage. Dal exactly the same. We cannot write the dal like this. Just imagine how can you understand that or how, how can you read it. 
some people if you write it like this they will read it as noon but still this is wrong we cannot write the letter dal like this and the letter ra we cannot write it like this it looks really funny maybe for me because i i've uh, i'm familiar with these letters maybe for you uh, doesn't mean it's doesn't make any sense maybe but for me for me it doesn't make any sense for you maybe you would say okay so what's what's the the harm in writing it in such way still we cannot write it like this because some letters we need them to be written like that so this will make a confusion in understanding what exactly do you mean by writing this letter like that maybe you're meaning like for the alif for example we cannot write it like this because lam when it's coming in the middle of the sentence we connecting the lam like this but alif if if you are connecting alif like that then it will be confusing confusing really wow exactly the same wow if we connecting wow like this then it's it looks like the letter qaf which is really uh, going to be confusing for the reader for whom is reading uh, what you are writing so all of these are special case we cannot connect them they have only two ways to be linked to the surrounding words whether in the in in the beginning or at the end even if it's coming in the, in the middle it will be treated as if it's coming at the end as you can see here alif dal dal ra zai and wow they will come exactly the same way that we wrote it here we presented here in front of you it will not have any other third uh, position for illustration purposes now let's go to the general rule how we connect the Arabic letters to each other just for illustration it will be only names because if we are using any something some some other examples then we need to know what is the meaning of these words but now these are only names we are using names just to show you how we connect or how we link these name these name these letters to each other forming the names now for the letter alif ba this is the first set as you can see from alif till the letter ha alif ba ta tha jim ha so this is the first set and this is what we are going to start with writing our uh, different positions in writing so we start with the letter with the word ahmed you're getting familiar now with this name because we are keeping re keep repeating that keep repeating this name ahmed we use alif we did not connect it if as as you can see we did not connect the letter alif with the ha we just kept it standing alone and then we wrote ahmed then salim see the alif come come if if the alif came at the middle of the word then it's it will be connect, connected to the previous letter but the next letter it will not be connected to it it's related to the special case as we just saw in the in the previous uh, slide sama see it's connected the same way the alif is connected in the name sama exactly like it's connected in the name salim same treatment there is no special there is no third position as we just ex explained now ba basil this is one of the uh, general rule this letter is one of the general rules this letter is one of the general rule ba ba is coming at the beginning ba basil ba and then basil when basil when you when you are using the letter we just color it in red just to know where is the position of that letter in english and in arabic so ba abbas see how it comes in the middle we just put these two lines before and after the ba the letter ba just to express exactly the position in there now the letter ba coming at the end like in the name rajab as you can see here it's connected to the previous letter this is the or the general rule as we have explained before ta tamir t is coming at the beginning in red as you can see here and tamir in the arabic name tamir ta is connected to the next letter which is alif alif by the way see here alif is not connected to the letter, next letter which is mim matab ta again we are using line before and line after just to show you how we connect these letters to each other 
So Matab and then Mithat. See the Ta again. Letter Ta is connected to the Ha normally, no problems. Uh, it's connected easily and we are following exactly the same rule or the general rule in writing these names. Now the letter Tha. Again, we are repeating the same scenario. Here we am just, I'm just, the, 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 the most important thing here to understand in this slide that whenever you see these letters, other than the letters in the special uh, case, we are going to write them and connect them easily with the surrounding letters, the previous and the coming after letter. Tha'ir, Hathla, as you can see here, Hathla, and then Sha'ath. Sha'ath, Thal, the, the letter Tha is coming at the end. There is no issues. We are connecting it without any, without any harm to connect them with the surroundings. The letter Jim, Jamila, as you can see here, Jim again is connected to the next letter Mim, and Ya is connected to the next letter Lam. See here, if we are dealing with, if we are treating the letter Alif like we are treating with the letter Lam in Jamila, then it, there will be no different. That's why there is a difference. And there are too many reasons why we are not doing these things, but this is not the time for us to discuss that. Now, Saja, as you can see here, Jim is coming, uh, the letter Jim is coming in the middle, and yet we are using the lines just to show for, for illustration purposes as we just uh, state, stated. Siraj, J is coming at the end. Siraj, the Jim is coming at the end. Why it's not connected? It's not connected because because the Alif, because of the letter Alif. That's why the Jim is not connected to the Alif. While if there is some other letter coming before the Jim, it will be connected to it, as we can see here in the line. Like the letter, the, like the word Thalj, the letter Tha, Lam, and Jim. Lam is connected to the Jim in exactly the same way. Now the letter Ha. Ha, you can see in Hamad. Hamad is connected easily with the letter Mim. Sahar is connected easily with Sin and Ra. And Ha is connected exactly with Ba without any issues. Ha and Jim treated exactly the same. As you can see here, as we just explained with the Thalj, which is now. As, as we just exp explained that, Ha is connected with the Ba. If Ba coming before the Jim, Jim will be connected exactly the same with Ha but without this dot. Dot is for Jim and without dot is for Ram. Now I, I'm just going to write the last name here for you just to let you know how we are writing in Arabic. See, I was, I, I'm going to start from the right till the left. Elif is not connected to the Ba and Ha is written exactly the same way from, from right to left. Now let's move to the next slide, to the next set of the alphabets. Kha, Dal, Dal, Ra, Zay, Sin. As you can see here, these four letters, which is Dal, Dal, Ra, Zay, those are the exception, exceptional uh, rule that we have just seen in the previous uh, slide. Uh, those letters, the four letters, and the letter alif, which is the start, the starting up letter in the alphabets, in the Arabic alphabets, the alif, the letter alif. Now kha, let's start with kha. Kha, khalid, we are using the kha, the letter kha, we are connecting the kha with the alif easily without any issues. Kha, we are using k and h to express the letter kha as we have just explained. Kha in the name bakhit, the kha is coming in the in the middle, connecting to the surrounding letters without any issues in the word sheikh again we are using the letters as you can see here k h to express the arabic kha letter now dal dalal as you can see here dalal we are using dalal D dal is not connected with the lam which is the letter coming after it see the lam is connected to the alif in the name Dalal, the Lam is connected to the Alif, but it has this different shape as you can see here. Because Alif is connected to the previous letter, but not the next letter. That's why we connected it, we connected that to the Lam in this way. Now Dal in Dalal, it's expressed in this way. Now Ra'ida, 
Dal is coming at the end in the name Khalid we just used exactly the same name Khalid just to uh, make you close to the to the idea, idea what we are trying to, un to understand here in Ra'ida and in Khalid the Dal is written in Khalid exactly in Ra'ida even though Dal in Ra'ida is not coming at the end now the the letter Dal Dal in Dhahab Dhahab means gold but we are not here in, in, in the position to, un to understand the meanings of these names but we just want to express the connection as we are saying the positions and the different uh, positions in writing Dhahab TH we are using TH again Dhahab is not connected to the Ha in Muthakir Dhal is not connected to the Kaf but it's connected to the Mim because it came before it Mu'ad as you can see here Mu'ad the Alif is not connected in Mu'ad with the Dhal and in Khalid the Alif is not connected with the Lam see we are treating it exactly the same this is just to, to, to as, I, as I just explained before I just want to have the same idea repeated repeating, it, repeating itself whenever I, f I feel it's convenient just to, to have all of the knowledge or the ideas connected to each other here, as we can see here, for the name Mu'adh, you see comma or apostrophe. But this apostrophe doesn't mean the Hamza because there is no Hamza in the name Mu'adh. But as I told you before, like this, ham this apostrophe, we are using it for the name of, for the letter Ain and Alif. When they come next to each other, you would have some kind of med. This med is a long sound. This long sound we can express it in the apostrophe by the by using the apostrophe between the two letters like mu'adh or the hyphen as you can see it here in the in the name that I'm trying to write here in front of you. So as you can see here mu'adh mu'adh I'm using the hyphen and in the name mu'adh I'm using the apostrophe. Sometimes you will find it like this and sometimes you will find it like this. However, I would I for me I would really uh, recommend to use the hyphen rather than the apostrophe because the apostrophe is for the Hamza as we have uh, uh, explained before Ra'id here you can use the apostrophe but because the Hamza here coming uh, coming like this in this shape is there is no stress in there there is Ra'id there is no stress when you're saying Ra'id there is not there is you don't have this sound uh, in the middle you have it but it's very slow very light it's not affecting the smooth going of the name so Ra'id if some sometimes people they use this apostrophe and sometimes they don't use it Isra the the little Ra coming in the middle it's not connected with the Alif again and Alif is not connected with the Hamza but Hamza it's it's there coming at the end just to express the uh, the sound Nasr exactly the same how you pronounce it how do you pronounce Nasr for Zayed, for Zay, it's Zayed, the first name, Zayed, Zay, and for Mazah, Mazah coming at the, at, the, at the middle, and it's connected with the mean. Rikaz, Rikaz, Zay is coming at the end. See in Salim, just try to, try to note, to note, to note. Just notice how we connect the letters. This is what is important in these two, three slides. Uh, now you know the alphabets, but you, you need to know in this slides how to connect these letters to each other. As you can see here, we are trying to repeat it in all of the letters just to show you how is it's different in some letters and how it's not. In these exceptional five letters, as we have uh, mentioned before, we have this special treatment. However, in, in the other general rule, we don't have any special treatment for these letters. We just write them. We have we pronounce them. We pronounce them exactly the same. These are the, as you, as as I have just explained, these are the letters that are the exceptional rules. I'm just giving you exactly the these red circles just to show you that they look exactly the same when you are writing them. As you can see here in the begin in the beginning or in the middle, they look. In the middle or in the at the end of the word, they look exactly the same connection or the the same linkage. However, see the letter seen for Masood, it's connecting from previous and from the next letter. Connected to the next letter.
Now let's go to the next set. Sheen. Sad. Dad. Ta. Dha. And finally, in this set, Ain. Let's repeat what we did in the previous uh, slides. Sheen, Shaheen. As you can see here, Sheen is connected to the Alif. Alif is not connected to the Ha. Shaheen. We are using again two letters in, from, the, from the English alphabets to express the letter Sheen in Arabic. Bashar. Bashar. Sheen is connected with the Ba and with the letter Alif without any issues. Hanash, Sheen is coming at the end of the word, connected to the to the letter Noon, without any issue again. Sad, Sadiq, it's connected to the Alif. Alif is not connected to the Dal. It's not linked to the Dal, to the letter Dal. Sadiq. As you can see here, Sadiq, I wrote it in English with the, with K. Sadiq. Some, some people, they wrote it with Q. Sadiq. Nassar, there is no issue with the name Nassar. Rassas, as you can see here, Rassas, we cannot say Rassas, it's not Rassas, it's Rassas. But as we just said before, as we, as we said before, S is the closest letter from the English alphabets to express the letter Sad in Arabic. Dad, Dia. Dia, the Hamza again, we are writing the Hamza in uh, using the apostrophe just to express the Hamza. Nidal, Nidal, can you see, can you see how I pronounce the Dad, the letter Dad? It's really heavy. You need to pronounce the letter Dad with a pressure and with using all of the tongue, Dad, because you start with the tip, you come in the middle and then at the end of the tongue, Dad, and then even the sides. That's why Dad is really tricky to pronounce uh, the letter in a correct way. Now, Ta, Tariq, Tariq, again, I'm using Q. Some people, they are using K. But this, the accent here is playing a, a, a very uh, important role in uh, doing, in the, in the different choosing between the Q and the K. Ta, Atta is coming in the middle. The Hamza again. See, I forget here the apostrophe, so I just wrote it for you just to understand that I don't want you to feel confused uh, why he did not use it here, why he would use it here. No, it should be used. Whenever you say you see Hamza, you have to use it. Otherwise, we, we don't even actually uh, care too much about the, how we write it in English. We just care about how we write it in Arabic and how we are uh, keeping the position in the right way and connecting the letters in, in the correct way. Ayat, Ta is coming at the end. Remember, Alif is not connected to the letter Ta in, in, in the name Ayat. Dha, Dhafir, TH, we are using TH again. Mudhafir, or Mudhafar. Mulahad, or Mulahad. TH again we are using Uday Uday I'm using the uh, the letter Ain is connected easily in Uday sometimes people they are using O to, to express the name Uday and sometimes they are using the letter U so it will be Uday or Uday and this again the accent which is playing this role in, in this different choosing between the letters to express the Arabic uh, letter. So Uday, we can use it with O or with U. Saeed. Saeed, there is no Alif. If, if, it's, if there is Alif close to the letter Ain, then we have to have this, you know, the hyphen or the comma, the apostrophe between the two A's to have the letter 
عين برونس in the right way شائع شائع as you can see here the عين is coming normally easily as as general as can be following the general rule in the Arabic writing now let's move to the next set غين فاء قاف كاف لام ميم غين غدير as you can see here غدير غدير it's coming at the beginning of the word connected to the letter دال we use gh to express the letter غين but when we pronounce غدير we don't say غين غدير we don't say it like this because there is a different as we just explained before that the letter غين is the name and how to pronounce the letter is غ غدير نغم نغم صايغ صايغ فاء فؤاد 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 فاء ضفاف 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 I'm using F normal F and رفيف فاء at the end is written like as you can see it here رفيف the ف the فاء is coming normally connected to the letter ياء yeah, which is before it as you can see here رفيف and ضفاف we are using the same fa, but in rifaf we did not connect it with the alif, and in rafif we connected with the ya. Now the letter qaf, qasim, qasim, we are using the letter q. Qasim, maqam or muqam, qaf, we are using qaf. We are connecting. The, qa the letter Qaf with Meme and Alif Without any issue again Now Tariq Q Tariq is not connected with the letter Ra As you can see here Kaf Karam Karam We don't say Karam Karam It's different Karam It's different We say Karam It's very soft Very light We don't have any, any kind of pressure here Sukkar We don't say Sukkar Sukkar We don't say Sukkar it's sukkar, sukkar, kar, kar, sab, sab, sabaik, sabaik, sabaik. Sabaik, by the way, is golden bars, gold bars. Sabaik, but it's an Arabic name. Sabaik, see, the calf is looks really different here. Can you see here? The little hamza, the little hamza written in the letter calf at the end is not actually hamza. It's a small calf, as it looks like exactly the same calf coming at the beginning. And here, as we just explained before, the Q and K is the misunderstanding sometimes between those those two letters and writing the Arabic names in English, but in Arabic. They never use the, the, the letter Qaf for expressing the name Karam, for example. Now the letter Lam, Lamia, Lamia, Selsabil. Can you see here the letter Lam, how it's connected with the scene and the scene? Selsabil. It's connected with a very soft and smooth shape. That's why, in, in, this is one of the reasons, by the way, why we are not connecting the letter Alif. We are, we are not connected. Uh, connecting the letter alif with the uh, next letter because we don't want it to look like the letter lam. This is one of the reasons. Sel sel sabil. Now asil lam is coming at the end. We are writing the lam as you can see here. Now the letter mim Muhammad. Muhammad. 
and we are using Muhammad again here to express the writing the, the letter in the middle because Mim is repeated itself here in this name Maryam Maryam Can you, if you can notice here, the letters when it's coming at the when it's come when when it comes at the end of the word, it's it's written exactly the same way how it's written how we are writing it in the alphabets itself, in the alphabets themselves. Now let's go to the next set, and this is gonna be the last set: noon and ha and wal and ya. Noon, nuha, nuha, nuha. Is connected with the letter ha. Here you will have a question: Why the letter ha looks different here? I will explain it once we reach the letter ha next. Manal, ranin. Can you see the letter ranin, the noon in, in in the name ranin? The noon looks exactly the same of the letter in the alphabet, in the alphabets. Noon is written exactly the same. The bare noon as we know it. Without any connect, it's connected, but without any shape, different in shape. Huda, ha, huda, huda, siham. Can you see the the letter ha here? The letter ha here in siham, it's written exactly in huda. But there is another way you can write the the name siham. For example, you can write it like this. Or like this. So Siham, you can just use it as we express the letter Ha in writing the name of the letter in Ha. We can, we can use exactly the same. We can connect it with the scene and that's it. Siham. And then Hala. Hala. See how we connect the letter Ha. Ha, as we said, when it's coming in the alphabets list, we find it in a small circle. When we write it, it's getting really different. We cannot just write a circle in the name Huda, for example, or in the name Siham. We cannot write a circle because, as we said in the, in the rule, Ha should be connected. So we cannot connect a circle. Or if, even if you, if you want to connect a circle, it will look like a meme. We don't want it to look like a meme. That's why we have this kind of differences, as we just explained. Now, wow, wow, we am. Here we have Hamza, but as we as in in the name Raed previously we 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 passed through, we am and Raed. We don't have any stress here, though. You can write uh, apostrophe if you want. Liwa, see when we pronounce the Hamza in the name Liwa, we have a a a bush in ourselves to to pronounce the Hamza at the end. Liwa and Ulu. Again, like in Uday, you can write U is correct and O is correct as well. Now the last letter, Ya, Yezan. Yezan. Layan. We don't have any issues. As you can see here, it's really simple to connect these letters without forgetting about the the rule uh, as we have just learned sami with the y sami and these are the alphabets and how we are positioning them let us now write the letters in front of you manually so we can understand how it goes so starting from the letter alif we draw a line and then hamza in front of it this is alif now this is the letter ba this is the letter ta. Now the letter tha. Now the letter jim. Ha. Kha. Can you see these three letters? Looks the same. Like ba, ta, tha looks the same. Jim, ha, kha looks the same. Only the dots are making the different. Dal and dal. Looks the same, and the dot is making the different. Ra and zai looks the same again. Sin and sheen looks the same. As you can see here, I'm starting to write the same letter 
exactly in the same starting and same same ending but the dots are making the difference like sod and dot see exactly the same sod and dot and ju uh, i just added this dot to to differentiate between the sod and dot tah and dha tah and dha dot is the different ain and ghain ain and ghain fa qaf the qaf is a little bit going down not like the fa fa is going on the line on the on the line but qaf is going deeper down kaf as we said the kaf is the kaf here when you're writing it at the end of the word this little hamza is not actually hamza it's a small kaf lam we're writing it like this meme and noon ha wow and yeah Now let's look at the letters in a different way. Alif, as you can see it here, no differences. Ba, we connected ba like this. If it's in the beginning, I'm just gonna express it if the letter comes at the beginning. So ta, we can write it like this ta with two dots or with a line. So any dots, we can just connect them to each other. That we can write it like this, or we can connect them to each other like this, making this small uh, rectangle, triangle. Jim, ha, ha, dal. It doesn't have any different shape as we as we discussed before. <coughs> dal, ra, zay. No different shape like the alif exactly we don't have any different shape scene we connecting the scene by adding this small line and connected with any diff any letter comes after it sheen exactly the same sheen see three dots again we can replace the three dots with these lines to express this the three the three dots sod bod ta looks the same but you can connect it, not like the dal dal ra zai. Ain, ain looks the same of ain when you connected it with the surrounding letters. Fa and qaf when you connect them, they looks the same. When it's standing alone letter, it they they doesn't look the same. And qaf again, the two dots we can just replace them with this line to express the two dots. Calf, you can write it like this if it's coming at the beginning of the word and this calf as we just mentioned before this is a small calf not a hamza just remember this is a small calf this calf is exactly this one just to express it and differentiate the calf from the lamb lamb you connecting it like this meme we connect it like this noon we connect it like this then ha or ha as in the name hala we just passed by it or ha like in siham even the letter seen and sheen by the way you if you don't want to write these lines in, in expressing the letter seen you can just make it one line like in siham can you see here in siham i i just I just left it one line and that's it it's it's gonna be fine if you are using it that way yeah you can use it two dots and yeah with a line and here how we are writing these letters and then if you want to connect them with the surroundings you know how now to how to connect them with the surroundings which is going to be inshallah easy to you easy for you to connect these letters with each other now let's uh, give you a small uh, question which is going to be answered in front of you then later we will give you a small uh, quiz before you uh, go to the next lecture just to make sure that everything we explained here is clear and we are ready to move forward So let's continue.
Now this is the practice. Write the below names in Arabic using what you have learned so far. <coughs> Nasr, Jamil, Salim, Bara, Manal, Layan, Majid, Raid, Ahmed. These are some tips. A, consider that A in your writing, the Hamza. Yes. And consider that A does not always mean the letter Alif. You know, in, in Arabic language, we in most of the names, you would find the letter A. Most of the names, if it's not all of them. And consider the different positions of the letters, just to make sure that everything is understood and everything is clear for you now. If it's coming in the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the word. So we would have a very clear vision here. So these are the letters we are using. Salim, Jamil, Nasr, Layan, Manal, Bara. Did you see these, letter, these letters that we are using? Just connect them and share your work with us so we can just understand that you are familiar with all of these things. If you want to practice more, you can just easily go with, uh, with the slide 7 to 11 to have everything clear and that's it. Thank you very much. Here our class has finished. I wish that you have learned so many things, you have used your notes and your pens to write all of this information in a side to get back for them when it's needed. Thank you and see you in coming class.